Hey what is going on everyone, this is Wicked and tonight I'm gonna be showing you the brand new version of Cyanogen mode for Samsung Galaxy S4 i9505 CM14 based on Android 7.0 codename Nougat A little disclaimer before I proceed to the flashing tutorial This ROM is in alpha development stage it is currently being optimized and it will take a lot of time until it will become stable. So major bugs like video camera not working or CM tweaks not working will encounter. Even though it's not a stable release, I have to say hello and thanks to developers from GDC team. They maintain this ROM and for sure they will make it stable by every release from now on. For links to XJ Thread and of course the ROM itself, please make sure you visit the description section right down below. Now, let me show you how to flash this ROM. Firstly, you'll need to get into recovery mode. Then, I strongly recommend making a backup of your current con configuration. As stated before, this ROM is not that stable for daily usage. So, in case you don't like it, you can come back later to your previous configuration. I will always say, better be safe then sorry. After you've done your backup, make sure you click wipe and then advanced wipe. Select the following partitions and then swipe to wipe. No matter what, I strongly recommend doing a full wipe before flashing a new ROM. Now you need to go to install section. Select the storage where you put both files you got from description. Select the CM14 zip and the installation will take some time, be patient. After you install the first zip, click back and flash the gaps package. After you install both zips, click reboot and let's check out the boot animation, shall we? After the booting process, I have to configure my device, enter my Wi-Fi password, credentials, Google accounts, etc. You can see from the beginning how fast and smooth it feels like. The first pop-up you would get is telling you to set your SD card, and that's what I did. Scrolling through settings has never been snappier before. Just to make sure you guys see what I'm running, here's the analog logo in the about phone section. Now, let me download them to two benchmark apps in order to test the performance of this ROM. The download speeds seem to be pretty fast and the installation process completes without a miss. Squared notifications are also a new theme update which came with Android Nougat. The gaming performance will be put to the test with Alto's Adventure game. And uh, let's get back into the settings. There are so many new things like the detailed text from every category. We also have the stock user interface tuner and bunch of simple tweaks like the clock style location. Battery style doesn't seem to work on this alpha version. We also have double tap status bar to put the phone into, this, into sleep. Here's the lock screen, not so many things have changed here, but it looks cleaner and more functional than it used to be before. Going through the benchmark performance, the goddamn video test from Antutu will lag like hell. But it's pretty common on Galaxy S4 devices, taking in mind that they are 3 years old. Going through many tests in this benchmark, I was really surprised to see that the device hasn't overpassed the normal CPU temperature, staying cool to the touch during the entire process. The score my device got with this ROM on Antutu benchmark was 39,624 point which is pretty great now let's test the gaming performance with alta's adventure as you can see most of the time the game is lag free but there are some moments when there are some obvious frame drops in the gameplay we're done with this game let's clear all the apps i opened some apps in order to see how smooth the rom is Here we have the new notification bar with a new toggle animation and the ability to add custom toggles to the toggles menu. 
the dialing action work just fine. Now, let's check out the Bluetooth streaming option. I play a song and it performs really well without interruptions or whatsoever. The beeping sound when I adjust the volume still bugs the hell out of me. Let's get into the major bug of this ROM, the camera. As you may see, it freezes, it is buggy and video recording doesn't even work at all. We're done with this app. Let's test out the multitasking option as known as the multi-screen. Pressing back and forth between the latest two apps has never been so easy. Just long press twice on the home screen to test it. This ROM also comes with gestures. Ambient display works perfectly when receiving a notification or after waving a hand over the proximity sensor. Speaking about the sensors, I have to assure you that they are working and I couldn't find a problem here. That was pretty much it about this ROM. If you like my video, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel. Also, if you want to be part of my Wicked community, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Let's Get Wicked. Until next time, take care. Bye bye.